what I'm going to show you quickly is how I add some watermarks to my images. And also show you a tiny little bit of editing that I do as well. So for example, at the moment I'm doing these photos of my model Jenna. And I've edited the photos in Lightroom. So the lighting's all pretty much how I'd want them. But what I'm going to do is add my logo to it. So what I need to do is get my logo. And with my logo up, I'll just click on it with the cursor button and press Control C. So that means it's copied. Get rid of that, don't save. And then when I want to put that on, I will just press Control V to put it on. But what I need to do is go in and check for a slight makeup make mistake that was done. There's a slight little bit of lipstick accidentally got stuck on the chin. So we just go to this button here, which is the healing tool. And holding down control, we find an area near the bit which is wrong, and then we just tap, 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 tap. And there you go, that's it fixed. So if we zoom back out, now you can't see anything wrong with the chin. Uh, there's the photo. Okay, so that's a little bit way of editing the photo. Next thing I do, I'm going to add in the logo. So I press Control V, and as you can see, it's bigger than the actual picture. But that's not really a problem because all it's going to be is a watermark. So what I want to do, for me, I like to have it in a cross shape. To so I'm going to rotate this and have it so it's covering as much of Jenna as possible. So that's it right over her face. And obviously you don't want it to keep it like that because then people can't see the image. So what you do is you go to your um, your layer mode, your blending mode, and go to overlay. And there it is, nicely merged in. But for me, I like to have two. So what I'm going to do is click new layer. So now that layer is solid. And then I'll press Control V, and that will add another new layer. Or another logo to it. So get this going in the opposite direction, click rotate, and again blending mode, click overlay, right click on the image and make it a new layer, and then go to file, save as, and then we can type watermarked logo. Save. So that's how I'm editing my photos that I've done of Jenna. Hope that helps. Cheers.